Mr President, my question is to the Minister for Trade and Investment. Can the Minister please provide an update to the Council about the Department of Trade and Investment's Digital Engagement Strategy and High Tech South Australia May 2020? Minister for Trade and Investment. I thank you, Mr President. I thank the Honourable Member for her first question in this chamber. It's a pleasure to be to getting the first question from her. And, uh, I have known the Honourable Member for a number of years and know that she has a particular interest in the high-tech sector. And indeed, Mr President, it has been a busy month for the Department uh, as we saw the launch of High Tech May 2020, which is the continuation of our global in-market webinar series and the launch of our e-commerce accelerator program. High Tech May focused on showcasing the state's unique capabilities within the high-tech space with particular focus on our global reputation for excellence in defence industries, cyber security, machine learning, robotics and connectivity. Key standouts across this month included virtual events featuring notable presenters such as MIT's Professor Sandy Pentland, Australian Institute for Machine Learning's Professor Anton van den Engel and South Australia's Chief Scientist Professor Caroline McMillan. These virtual events were specifically focused on how South Australia's businesses could navigate the changing face of doing business and the effects of COVID-19 on the digital economy. We have shared numerous examples of innovation across the high-tech sector, including businesses such as FuseTech, eBotley and CVX Semiconductor. Across May 16, Mr President, 16 high-tech uh, in-market high-tech webinars were held with more than 1,500 registered delegates. More than 35 new business leads have been identified from these webinars with strong interest from Hong Kong, China and the United States. Webinars will continue to be a focus across our trade and investment strategy with regular in-market updates to continue to provide crucial insights and access for South Australian exporters to our, ground to our on ground representatives. Over the next two weeks, we will run in-market webinars with the UK, Europe, Malaysia, India and Hong Kong as well as specialised webinars in partnership with Wine Communicators of Australia to help our South Australian producers learn the best practice to run their virtual tasting events. On Monday, my department launched our second of our focus months, concentrating on health and medical industries. Health tech is worth more than $2.3 billion to South Australia and currently, and we will focus on the state's best practice capabilities in biotech, clinical trials, medtech and digital health solutions. As part of High Tech June 2020, a number of webinars will be promoted giving investors access to some of South Australia's most prominent leaders in the space, including again Professor Carolyn McMillan and South, Australia, South Australia's Chief Scientist and Dr Michelle Perugini, co-founder and CEO of Presagen, one of the world's leading AI-enhanced healthcare companies. We shall also be promoting South Australia at Bio 2020, a virtual conference connecting some of the world's biggest biotech companies. At the event, we'll be participating in Bio 2020's unique digital partnering program, getting one-to-one -one face time with interested businesses. Promoting our capabilities and research resources in the health sec tech sector have never been more important as South Australia emerges as a COVID-safe state and offers investors continuity of business and an opportunity to come back stronger than before, Mr President. <laughs> 